Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. Today we're going to be installing a dash cam with a rear facing camera in a 2020 VW Tiguan. Before we get started, please make sure you subscribe to our channel and turn on post notifications so you don't miss out on our future videos. Please note that our videos are for educational purposes only and we are not suggesting that you do any of these installs on your own. Please seek out a qualified professional for your vehicle customization needs. And without further ado, let's jump into this installation. So you guys might be wondering why you might need a dash cam. It's actually a really great tool to have in case you get into a traffic incident of some kind. It can be used as proof of liability and can really save you in certain situations. We've chosen the Thinkware F200 Pro camera and we absolutely love this one. So here this image was taken from the manual of the camera and it shows the different parts and we'll show you the other side too. If you need, go ahead and pause the video to review where everything is. Okay, here we go. Starting the installation. First, he's just going to put the base onto the camera. Now he's just finding a good placement for the dash cam. He'll hide it behind the rear view mirror. Um, it's a good idea to try to mount the camera close to the mirror in order to avoid creating any blind spots or anything like that. And here we're just using alcohol wipes to remove any residue from the windshield so the adhesive sticks well. how it looks. It's well hidden behind the rear view mirror and it isn't blocking any sight lines. It's a little difficult to access the buttons in this position, but for us, this was the best option. So to connect the camera, there are two options, either the hard wire or using the cigar socket power cable. We chose the hard wire with constant power and ground. Please note that hard wiring is optional and must be installed professionally by a trained technician. So he's going to route the cable up from behind the rear view mirror up into the liner and from the liner over to the A pillar, from the A pillar down behind the airbag, which we do not recommend doing. You must be a professionally trained technician to do this as you could accidentally deploy the airbag and cause yourself serious harm as well as damage to your vehicle. And then from behind the airbag, we go down to the fuse box and the fuse box is behind this compartment. using a panel popper to gain access to the side of the fuse box. Since we've already selected the wires we're going to use, we can go ahead and route them from the liner to the A-pillar and from the A-pillar behind the airbag. Everything is tucked away and put back together properly before moving on. Now he's going to do the connections. As we showed you before, yellow is ignition, red is 12 volt constant, and black is ground. Here we used a wire stripper, a crimper, a flush cutter, heat shrink, butt connectors, and fuse tabs or out of circuits.
crown should always be placed somewhere with solid metal, ideally in a structural place. A multimeter will be able to measure whether power gets there. Again, this part should be done by a professional technician only, and this can also cause serious damage to your vehicle if done incorrectly. Here we're finding the ignition with a multimeter, a connection with 12 volt constant. Now that those steps are complete, we're going to secure the wires. This is always an important step as wires should always remain secured away from any moving parts or hanging loose in the interior of the car. So here we're putting the wires behind this panel. And now he's putting the panel back into place. As we mentioned before, this camera has two channels, so it also has a rear-facing camera. So here we're just measuring to make sure we place the camera in the center of the window. Again, we're cleaning with some alcohol to make sure the surface is ready for the adhesive, and now we're just mounting the camera. Back up at the front of the car, we're connecting the cable for the rear camera to the front camera via the video in. In a couple of minutes, we'll show you the route he took to pass the cable from the front to the back of the car. So now he's just connecting that same cable plugged in the front camera into the rear facing camera. Notice the plug is different than the one that goes into the front camera. And now we're just securing the wires and making sure everything is tidy and well placed. So here he's showing where he passed the wires for the rear camera. Along the step into the back. Of course, this is all under the plastic panels. And from the back seat into the trunk. And from the trunk close to the lights. And then up. Once into the top of the car, we use these plastic pipes to go into the plastic surrounding the rear window, and then it comes out to the camera. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and show you the app, which is called Thinkware, and this is what it looks like. And this is the inside of the app. We have both the front and rear cameras here and you can see it shows the model of your camera and what's great about it also is that from here you can go into the recordings and save them to your phone. So here um, we're just going to go into one of the recordings and show you what it looks like. As you can see even at night you can see a decent amount of detail which is really great. So we're 
just gonna go into a little more detail about how to connect the camera now. You're gonna connect to the camera's Wi-Fi network and you're going to activate the Wi-Fi on the camera. And here we're connected to the camera's Wi-Fi. Make sure local network is turned on and once it's connected, the camera will alert you. You can go in and look at the live view and you can also switch to the rear view. Here you can just go into the settings menu with all the different settings that you can adjust. And we're gonna go through each one here so you can see what kinds of things you can customize. Here's the info for the camera, and now we're going to go into the various recordings saved in our memory card. So that's it for this video guys, we hope you enjoyed it. We've linked this camera in the description in case you're interested in purchasing it. Also, if you're in the Southern California area, we do do these kinds of installations. You can visit our website and request a quote. In the next video, we'll do a review of this camera. Thanks so much for watching and please make sure to like this video and subscribe. See you next time!